Small and marginal farmers account for 86.2% of all farmers in India, but own average land of just 0.6 hectares. Moreover, about 60% of total net zone area comes under the rain-fed lands, thus having water poverty. After having farm pond, even if 20-30 minute rain comes, they can fill in at least even drought. They can grow one crop extra, so they can survive in their life. About 12 million individuals are expected to join the workforce every year. But only 2.3% of the workforce in India has undergone formal skill training as compared to developed countries. In skilling, uh, India has a lot of people who get degrees but never get a job. So we have a program where we bring students to a residential campus or we go to the colleges and we train them so that they can get an employment. And I'm very impressed that we can actually go to a taluka place, a village and a place in a college and get close to 80% of these students employed in, in a fairly decent job where they make anywhere from 15 to 25,000 rupees a month. We also take some of the skilling to the villages and teach English to 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th grade students. Last year, we did a pilot in 24 villages and this year we extended it out to 80 colleges. MSME sector contributes 45% to manufacturing output, more than 40% towards exports and over 28% of the GDP, while creating employment for about 111 million people. The program is designed to support uh, passionate, committed entrepreneurs who are ready to grow their business, who want to uh, learn new things and uh, giving them uh, technology support by industry experts where they are having access of all industry experts because when they go in a market, they are not able to get uh, right guidance from the people because uh, they are illiterate, they are not able to get uh, uh, registered their own. So Navadimi is there to help them to get registered and uh, get some of the support from government and also from the bank. So where now they may be standing uh, behind with entrepreneurs where they can uh, confidently scale their business. Uh, the vision of the Sun of Startups is very simple. We wanted to see can we create an ecosystem in non-metros and thereby have entrepreneurs in across country thereby we can actually make a country as an entrepreneur. Today's scenario more than 90% of the incubators are there in metros and we at foundation decided that we wanted to set up a parallel ecosystem in Hubli uh, to begin with and then see how can we provide a platform for that. Today as ecosystem we have got more than 60 plus startups incubated with us solving real India's problems be it in agriculture, be it in healthcare, be it in electronics, we have got IoT startups with us. Uh, very, very thankful, vibrant ecosystem. What is CSR Conclave 2019? This conclave is a platform to take forward the vision of New India 2022 by collaborating to co-create higher order social impact through investment in scalable and sustainable socio-economic development models. The objectives of the CSR Conclave are enabling an ecosystem where corporates can partner to create New India 2022 collective contribution to attainment of SDGs through inclusive growth, equitable development and sustainability, dismantling invisible barriers to mobilize resources towards rural areas.